Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. So today I'm sharing a really short, really simple recipe with you. Um, this is a Facebook Live video that I shared a while back in my Facebook Keto group. And it's a recipe for Keto Bacon Cheddar Biscuits. They're so super simple. They're really delicious. Um, I don't really eat a lot of keto treats and snacks anymore, but I know there's a lot of you out there that are maybe just, um, you know, brand new to keto and you need some yummy recipes to try, or maybe you've been doing keto for a while, but you're really bored with what you've been eating and you just need something different. So, um, hopefully you'll enjoy this. I will say that the video doesn't flow as nicely as I would like it to because it was originally a Facebook Live video that I had shared inside of my keto group. So when I edited the video, I had to kind of cut out some sections that were basically just discussions within the group that don't really pertain to the recipe. So it doesn't flow that nicely, but hopefully you will still enjoy it. And I will post the actual recipe in the comments of the video. Hi everyone, hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, don't mind my crazy look, my hair is wet. Um, <laughs> it's just been kind of a lazy day. Um, I got up, did my workout, showered, um, got dressed, but I have no ambition to dry my hair or <laughs> do anything with it. So, um, you know, it's Sunday. It is what it is. <laughs> so, so today I'm gonna make something I've never tried before, but I found the recipe and I just thought it looked awesome. Um, it's keto bacon cheddar biscuits. So um, this is going to be probably one of the easiest recipes that you guys ever see me make. It is so simple, um, but I haven't made them before, so I don't know how good they are. I don't know how they're gonna turn out, but I'll let you know. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Just like um, all of my other live kitchen videos, um, I've already measured out everything. So just to save time, so you guys don't have to, you know, watch me measure everything. So this is like super, super simple. So um, I've got my bowl here. I think you can see that. Um, I've got my oven preheated, or it's preheating now. It's preheated <laughs> to 375. Um, and so this is gonna be simple. I've got almond flour here. I've got one cup of almond flour. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, now this is weird to me. I've got one and a fourth cups of cheddar cheese. Um, I don't know why the fourth, that's what the recipe says. Um, I am a big recipe person, so even things that I make over and over and over again, I always follow the recipe. I know some people are like, they just wing it and throw stuff together, but what I have found if I do that, even though I've made something a million times, if I don't follow the recipe, it ends up different every time. Like, it always, you know, tastes different or just it's not quite the same <laughs> so i'm a big recipe person um so i always follow my recipes no matter how many times i've made something no matter how easy it is i always follow the recipe so this recipe that i found says one and a fourth cups of cheese so that's what i've got here i think that's weird i don't know why we need the fourth i don't know i don't know but anyway um and then i have bacon bits um, so the recipe says four slices of bacon. Okay, I looked that up to see because I just use real bacon bits. It's just easier. So it would be like two to three tablespoons of real bacon bits if you wanted to use bacon bits. If you want to use real bacon, then that's awesome. <laughs> I just don't want to, um, you know, dirty another pan by cooking bacon. So um, I'm using real bacon bits, and I've got. Um, I just put two tablespoons in. I love bacon, but sometimes too much bacon, I'm, you know, I don't want too much. So I just put um, two tablespoons of bacon bits and I'm gonna just mix that up a little bit just to get the mixture kind of blended together. And then, um, then just two eggs. So I've got two eggs measured out here. I'm gonna dump those in there. 
and one tablespoon of water. I don't know why that makes such a big difference, but one tablespoon of water. So that's all of the ingredients. Um, don't worry about trying to write those down because just like all of the other recipes I do, I'll come back later and I'll edit this video and put the recipe in the, in the description for you. So, all right, just gonna mix that up. I mean, that is so simple, right? And I think that you probably would be okay if you wanted to like maybe throw in a packet of ranch seasoning. Um, that would, you know, add some extra flavor to it, but I'm just gonna follow the recipe the way it says this time, just because I've never made this before, so I just wanna see how it turns out. So that's it. I mean, that's it. It's all mixed up. <laughs> um, and then I don't actually know how many servings it makes because the recipe didn't say how many servings. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it, but I have my, um, my greased muffin pan and my scooper from Pampered Chef. And I'm just gonna scoop it into the, the can you see the muffin, the muffin tins here? I'm just gonna scoop it in there. Um, I don't know if it's gonna make enough to fill all of them or not, but I'm all about trying new things. Love to try new recipes. So we'll just kind of go with it here. And I probably could even make them smaller with my smaller scoop, but it's my first time making it, so we'll just see how it goes. All right, so there's six of them there, and I might be able to get one more. Yep, one more. So if you use the big, the big scooper from Pampered Chef, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> so if you use the big scooper, that recipe ends up being seven biscuits. So, um, so then the recipe just says to bake 20 to 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, that's it guys, that is so super simple. Um, I'll throw them in the oven and bake them 20 to 30 minutes and then you're supposed to let them cool, let's see, like for five minutes. So um, I'll take pictures when it's done. I'll show you how, how they turned out and I'll let you know how they taste. Um, but that's it, that's so simple, right? So, um, and like I said, when the biscuits are done, I'll take a picture, I'll let you know how they are, so. Short and sweet, not a very long video today. Um.